In today's video, I'm going to be sharing information about a new car rental program for Uber drivers, which is now available in most California markets, and the program is called FAIR. And stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you whether I recommend this as the best way for full-time drivers to secure a vehicle for rideshare driving. Hey there, everybody. This is Jay Creator with The Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to be talking about a new rental car program called FAIR. And I'm going to look at a few different aspects of this program. And we're going to start off with what exactly is the FAIR car rental program. And to do that, we're going to jump right into their website. The homepage uh, for FAIR.com. <clears throat> and we're going to click on Uber in California here. And this is going to give us a really nice overview of what's available. So every car is $185 per week. So it doesn't matter which car you select, and we'll, we'll cover car selection in a second here, but every car is $185 per week. Now all you need to get started is a $185 refundable security deposit and your first week's payment. Although they're currently offering, uh, you can get started with just the security deposit and your first week is free. Now you can also earn rewards. So if you complete just 70 trips in a week, you can earn a $185 reward, which will cover your car rental. And if you do 120 in a week, your reward will be $305. And this price covers everything. So you get unlimited miles, you get insurance, refundable deposit, roadside assistance, routine maintenance, and vehicle warranty. Number two is how exactly do you get started with FAIR? Well, this is actually really good news because all it takes to get started with FAIR is you gotta come up with a, a refundable security deposit of $185 and FAIR is giving you the first week's rental for free. So that's all you need to do is pay the 185 up front and you can get into a new car. Now once you get the car, it's good for seven days and then you can renew it for another seven days and you can do that four times. So that gives you 28 days or a month. At that time, if you want to renew again, you may be able to do that right through the app or in some, some circumstances, you're going to have to bring the car back in for a short inspection and then re-up it for another month. Third, we're going to look at what kind of cars are available. So I'm going to show you this image and you can see some of the cars that are available. You can get a Hyundai Sonata, a Nissan Altima, Toyota Corolla, Hyundai Elantra, Kia Soul, Nissan Versa, Honda CRV. But let's go to the app right now and we can see exactly what kind of cars are available right now. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up the Fair app and as you can see here it gives you some of the basic information again. 70 trips and you get $185. All cars are $185. And then you can shop by model. So there are three cars, three Hyundai Elantras, six, uh, five Ford Fiestas, four Kia Souls, one Hyundai Sonata, one Hyundai Accent, one Toyota Corolla, one Versa, one Camry, three Altimas. All right, so let's say we're interested in an Altima. And then you can see the different cars. So here's a 2017 Nissan Altima with 47,000 miles on it. All right, you can see a couple different angles of it. And if that was the car you wanted, then that would be your selection. Number four, I wanted to do a comparison between this and Lyft's program, which is called Express Drive. So the first thing I want to point out is that with Lyft, you don't get to choose your car. You go to an appointment, you receive a presentation, and then you're assigned a car. So that's a big drawback to the Lyft program. Whereas as we've seen, there are a lot of car options available with the FARE program. Second, the cost of the car for the Uber car is $185 a week, whereas with Lyft in San Francisco, it's $219. So that's a minimal difference of about $35, but over a year, that adds up to several thousand dollars. So that's another consideration. However, the biggest consideration I have is the bonus money. Now, if you look at the image here, you can see that with Lyft, what you have to do in order to cover your entire uh, rental payment is do 155 rides whereas with uber you only have to do 70 rides in order to cover your rent so that's sub substantial it's much easier to hit 70 rides than it is to hit 155 
and then that's the best you can do with Lyft. With Uber, if you go ahead and do 120 trips, instead of $185 to cover your rent, your car rental, you're going to get $305. So those are three very compelling reasons why I would recommend the Uber program over the Lyft program. Finally, I want to cover a few frequently asked questions about this program. First question is, are all the cars $185? And the answer is yes. All the cars you could select, all of them are $185. So pick the car that you really want the most out of all the cars that are available, and you're going to pay $185. Another question is, well, if I do this program, do I get to participate in all of the bonuses that Uber offers? And the answer is no. So with the Lyft program, it's the same thing. Uh, you can earn, earn the money to pay towards the rent, and maybe with Uber you get a little more with the bonus, but that's it. You do not get to do the Quest bonus that you may be uh, participating in. So that's off the table. Uh, this kind of substitutes for that bonus. Next question is, where is this program available? So right now, the program I've just been describing to you is available in four areas. San Francisco, Los Angeles, Sacramento, and San Diego. So that's where it's available now. You can visit the FAIR website and see what other options are available to you nationwide in the other markets. So in summary, what I would say is I recommend this program. It's a dynamite program for a lot of reasons. First, it gives you a good car selection. Second, the price for the car includes everything. It's only $185, that's a good deal. Third, you can uh, pay for it by driving for Uber and racking up the rides. And that's a huge, huge benefit because then you don't really have a car payment. Plus you can make, if you do 120 trips, which I know that's not that many rides, um, you can even get a bonus on top of getting your car paid for. So for all those reasons, um, and you get unlimited miles, unlimited miles. So rather than getting a new car and depreciating it over time, with this, you can drive this, these cars as much as you want and you're gonna pay the same amount of money. So I say thumbs up, give this, uh, give this program a chance. If you'd like to get started with the FAIR program, go and take a look at some cars. Click on this link, which is located just below the video. Hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't signed up yet for this YouTube channel, give, give, it a, give it a subscribe. Go for it because every week we put out two to three pieces of good content. You're going to learn a lot about this industry, how to become a better driver, what all your options are. Join our team. We'd love to have you. You all got to have a fantastic, awesome, wonderful day. Be safe out there.